Welcome to this lesson. Today, uh, let's talk about applications of uh, electrolysis. Uh, electrolysis has uh, several industrial applications today and some of the most important applications include one electroplating. Uh, this is the application of uh, a thin layer of metal onto an object. The metal coating uh, may be for protective or ornamental purposes. So that is how uh, it helps. So we can see in the diagram that we have that anode copper anode so this is fork cathode Then solution of copper is used. This is copper to sulfate. So now here at the anode there is oxidation taking place and uh, oxidation will mean that the copper is oxidized to copper two ions and the ions in the solution migrate to the cathode and that is what eventually will coat the fork by having the copper two ions reduced to copper cathode production of metals that is another application a metal such as aluminium it is production or extraction of metals from their earth as so metals such as aluminium a magnesium and Sodium are extracted from their ores by use of electrolysis method. Extraction of metals. Extraction. And we talked about uh, that. Uh, maybe when you're talking about metals, uh, discussing metals as a topic, you realize that extraction of metal involve either by electrolysis or reduction. So there are some metals that are very reactive. The highly reactive metals are such as uh, sodium and the mentioned aluminium that the extraction using a uh, cork and maybe carbon to oxide uh, would not work and therefore they will call for electrolysis as a method so these include aluminium magnesium and uh, sodium during this a solution of these metals is made uh, the electrolyte and from there at the cathode you are able to obtain the respective metals. For example, uh, during extraction of uh, aluminium, a molten aluminium oxide is made the electrolyte, and during the electrolysis, aluminium is uh, deposited 
at the cathode. Similarly, for extraction of sodium, uh, that is from rock salt as the main uh, ore, we have uh, molten sodium chloride uh, used as uh, the electrolyte, although uh, there are some calcium chloride added, but just to lower the melting point. So here, the sodium ions migrate to the cathode and they get uh, reduced to sodium uh, metal. Purification of metals. The third one. Purification of uh, metals. Copper and zinc can be purified by electrolysis, of which a bar of impure copper is made the anode, as shown in the diagram. So that is impure, made the anode, and the pure copper strip made the cathode. And then those are dipped into a solution of copper, of which in our case we want to use copper to sulfate solution. Now, the impurities in the copper, this is pure copper strip and then we have impure copper the impurities in the copper will be deposited as anode mud as copper get in solution migrate to the cathode and then produce pure copper so during this, the reaction at the anode takes place first, and that involves oxidation of copper solid to copper iron, and uh, the two electrons are lost. Any impurities in the impure copper will be deposited down as the copper ion get into solution or as the copper gets into solution that is by forming a copper ion and again we are saying uh, during that two electrons are lost at the cathode we'll have the formed copper two ions in the solution will gain two electrons that are lost at the anode to form pure copper. So that is the product and that is the pure copper. The last application of electrolysis is production in fact, we simply talk about manufacture of sodium hydroxide. When brine is electrolyzed, three important products are obtained, namely chlorine, hydrogen, 
and uh, sodium hydroxide and we want to manufacture this using mercury cell we want to look at the industrial manufacture of sodium hydroxide are using mercury cell though they can also be manufactured by use of membrane cell or we can use diaphragm cell in this lesson we'll only look at the manufacture of sodium hydroxide by use of uh, mercury cell and uh, when you talk about this industrial manufacture it is important to know all uh, the possible reactions this is the setup for the manufacture of uh, sodium hydroxide uh, using the mercury cell Now, we have the anode, cathode, uh, we have the anode and there gives chlorine gas, and then there is uh, the cathode. The process, that is the diagram, so process. The flowing mercury is the cathode. Mercury is the cathode. Sodium is reduced at the cathode to the metal. So sodium migrates to the cathode as uh, the brine is used as the electrolyte and brine has sodium ion chloride ion and because it is a solution sodium chloride plus water that is brine it also has hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions now sodium ions and hydrogen ion migrate to the cathode and uh, at the cathode which is made of mercury we realize that sodium ion gets discharged that is gaining electron to form molten sodium due to the temperature that is a uh, at the cathode the sodium then dissolve in mercury to form sodium amalgam after that the sodium dissolves in mercury forming sodium amalgam Uh, that is after forming the sodium at the cathode uh, 
large scale manufacture of uh, sodium hydroxide so the sodium amalgam formed is pumped to the amalgam decomposer where water is added to it so during that the sodium amalgam reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide hydrogen gas and mercury so to balance the equation we have two 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 and that is the sodium hydroxide that is required chloride ions in the brine are oxidized to chlorine gas that is at the anode we have chloride ions being oxidized to form chlorine gas plus some two moles of electrons and that is why this is also another product realized during the manufacture of sodium hydroxide so it's treated as a, a byproduct mercury cell produces pure sodium hydroxide it produces pure sodium hydroxide it is a uh, it however has uh, a potential danger of mercury pollution the waste brine must be carefully checked to avoid mercury poisoning of environment or water masses now that is all about the applications of uh, electrolysis uh, which marks the end of the topic electrochemistry